Good morning, family, and welcome to my Nation. I'm Toray. Stay tuned. So this week, I'm going to do something a little bit different than what I've done in the past. Um, I'm going to talk on one topic all week long and expound on that. So this week, we're going to talk about the danger of comparison. Keep watching. In today's society, it's real easy for us to fall prey to the images that we see presented to us, whether it's in a magazine, um, on the television, or on a movie screen, whatever the case may be. Um, however, there is a level of confidence that you must first have within yourself. So today we're going to talk about that confidence. Being confident isn't an arrogance, it is not a conceitedness, it is not um, having a big head, however you want to describe it. Conf are. Confidence is an assurance of knowing who you are. Once you have clearly identified who you are, your role in this world, what you are supposed to contribute to it, how you're supposed to contribute to it, you can stand confident within your own skill and ability and do that without any hesitation, without any reservation, and not have to second how do guess you become yourself. Confident? So how do you become confident? The Bible says that being confident in this one thing, that he who has begun a good work in us will complete it until the day of Jesus. You have to be confident and know without a shadow of a doubt that God has given you a specific set of skills and abilities that are going to allow you to be successful throughout your life, that are going to help reach you and get you to your expected end. Whatever your purpose and whatever your destiny is, those are the skills that God has given to you to help you feel you get there. Get there. Now here's the catch. When we see others walk in a level of success that we would so desire, we immediately begin to make adjustments within our own lives trying to reach after that same success. But in the process, we get off course because that's not the lane that we are supposed to operate in. What is your lane? Your lane. Once you discover the lane um, for your purpose and your destiny to be fulfilled, everything else will fall into place. Things that might become or be a little hard for one individual come easy to you. Why is that? Because God has given you that ability. He has given you the wherewithal to fulfill that so, soul. Don't compare what someone else is doing and their level of success to where you are. Because there's a couple things that you have to take into consideration. Number one, they've started out on their journey a little bit earlier than you did. So they have additional information, wisdom, experience that you don't have right now. Um, that has allowed them and afforded them the opportunity to reach the level that they are at. You have to be confident in knowing that the same God that led them and guided them through their process is going to do the same for you. God is no respect of persons. He shows no partiality over one child than he does for the other. So there's no reason to feel as if you're behind the curve. He has started a good work in you and you have to know that and he is going to be the one that completes it. So as long as you are listening and leaning in to hear what it is that he has to say concerning your life, concerning your purpose and his plan for your life, it's all going to come to pass. It's all going to come to number two. When you're looking at someone who is already at a place or a position that you want to be in, just know that that was their time. It's not taking anything away from you. It's not adding anything else to them. It was just their time for, their, for them to get there. Your time has already been preordained. So you ask, you pray, you seek God, and you wait for your time. Have don't to rush yet. So don't rush it. Wait for your time and your time is coming. So this morning, I encourage you, be confident. Be confident in that which you know God has done. So again, I wanna leave you with this scripture. Being confident of this one thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. This day has already been preordained. Be confident in what God has already done for you in you and what he will eventually do. Thank you for spending your time with me this morning. Like and share this post, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and help me spread the word. So today is the day. Log on to terraypeoples.com for the dates and times for the six-week book club. Let's Please see. log on to the website and purchase.
purchase a book. There is a purchase book button on each page of my website. You can't miss it. You have to get your book first. God bless you. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.